Okay, so when you're trying to self-pollinate your plants, you basically just want to grab like a Q-tip or something, go into the male flower, and just kind of root around in there a little. And as you can see, you will get pollen on your Q-tip. You see that? And then you go over to a female flower, which is a flower with the fruit on it, behind it, the squash, and you put it in there. And that's pretty much how you pollinate. I mean, it's very easy. You just go from flower to flower. Go over here, here's a big old male flower. Root around in there. Look at all that pollen, look. Look at that. See all that pollen? And then you put it on a female. And that's pretty much it. And my squash plants look amazing, but some of the fruits were just not cutting it they were not growing good so I decided to do this self-pollination and see if that helps oh, there's a lizard what you doing in there buddy so anyway my squash plants are looking good they're getting big this bed is a eight foot by four foot so these are two massive plants actually a couple of plants mixed in one still getting some peppers here on my pepper plants they're doing good we have had a ton of rain look at my noodle beans these things they say get like 18 inches long really cool interesting flowers they're definitely getting long and of course my cucumber plant is just blowing up I had to build a trellis right here on it so it would actually maintain it because it's very big And I am getting cucumbers now. Whoa, I just heard a big bee in here. Where in the world did that go? Look at all the flowers in here though. Whoa. That's a big guy. I don't really need to self-pollinate these. Obviously, as you can see, there is bees around. just a plethora this plant these plants I should say are doing amazing all right let's go to an important thing compost good morning everyone rich at Rivera urban homestead um, I just wanted to do a video on compost compost tea uh, if you're going to do anything for your garden, start making your own compost. I've grown in it, piles of it, I'm doing it right now, and it's amazing. The quality of the plants are far better than any soil base that I have bought. So I just want to show you my compost system here. It's really easy. Compost is basically my yard waste, my grass clippings, any of my kitchen scraps as far as salad stuff, greens, plant-based stuff goes right into the compost pile, um, and leaves. 
So grass, leaves, ch uh, kitchen scraps, anyone can do it. If you want to have a good garden, you need to start doing it if you're not already. So let me just show you my quick little compost setup. Okay, so I have two different compost piles right now going. This one is pretty much done. The other one is still fairly new, a couple of weeks old. What I do is every week I will flip it, mix it around, water it down, and that just helps it get moving and it gets that air inside of there so you can have the aerobic bacteria versus the anaerobic, which is the no air bacteria in it. Aerobic bacteria just breaks it down quicker. It's very efficient. No air, you start getting a smell and all that stuff. So you want to mix your compost at least once a week and water it down so it keeps cooking as quickly as possible. That'll be the fastest results right there. You could just sit there and leave it. That's no big deal. You can leave it alone, let it do what it wants to, but it's just going to take longer to get to that result that you want. So let me show you what it looks like as far as almost finished and still going. All right, so here's a pile of pretty much finished compost. Look at how dark that looks. Beautiful. And you can squeeze it as tight as you can and it's still just fall apart very dark nutritious soil and you look in here there's still some eggshells and such but it's getting broke down some sticks really good stuff though works great for the garden great to mix into your soil you want to mix that into your top soil in your garden every year and over here is not completely done obviously you can still see the actual plant base in there but let's stick it and spin it it is very warm real warm and that is almost you know that's just starting it's starting to see the you see the black forming and that is so hot to the touch and that's what you want to do you want to keep flipping it working it in and keep a pile keep a pile that's nice and pointed like that because when it rains it kind of the water will just kind of dissipate off of it versus too much soaking in. There's all kinds of bugs in there though. I don't know if you can really see any. I'm sure you see a few little bugs cruising around and that's what you want. You want all them bugs in there. You want all the bacteria in there. All of it is helping to break it down. So it's alive and it's good.